this is Paul with Hobby King Live Product Reviews. In this video today, we're going to take a look at the Hobby King 2.4 GHz 4 channel radio. So let's take a closer look at this radio and see what it has to offer. Okay, let's first take a look at what you get when you order this product. You get the 2.4 GHz 4 channel transmitter, and you also get a 6 channel 2.4 GHz receiver and a binding plug that comes with it. As you can see, this is a 6 channel redundant receiver. It has the main receiver here and it has a satellite receiver over here. Okay, let's take a closer look at the actual transmitter. As you can see here, it comes with a basic 2.4 gigahertz style antenna. It's just a little short antenna that's bendable. Okay, now let's look at the actual transmitter. The transmitter is the basic 4 channel style. It has trims for all channels. As you can see here, for the rudder trim, here's your throttle trim, there's your elevator trim, and here's your aileron trim. As you can see here, looking at the front of the radio, you can see it has a nice large on-off switch on the bottom right-hand corner. And next to that on-off switch, you have the reverse mode and normal mode switches for all four of your channels. It features the aileron, the elevator, the throttle, and the rudder. Any of these four channels can be reversed from normal or to reverse function. Then on the far side over here on the left, you have the actual bind switch. This is uh, the switch that you hold down to bind the receiver to the radio. In a little while here, I'll show you how you do that. And also, after you do have it set up, you can also use this for a range test switch. Okay, now looking at the back side of the transmitter, you can see it has a trainer port where you plug in a trainer cord to another radio. And also, on the back side, you can see I have the battery bay open. It takes eight AA size batteries to power this transmitter. Okay, I just installed a new set of fresh batteries. I flipped the radio over and turned it on. And as you can see here, it has a power indicator light. This power indicator light has three modes. With fresh batteries, it should be going a dark green. And as power starts to drop, it'll have a mid-level where it's a light green. When your batteries become low, it'll be in a red color. When it's red, that should be an indication to you that you need to change your batteries as soon as possible. This 2.4 gigahertz 4-channel radio is a basic radio. It does not feature any of the special mixing like delta mixing or V-tail mixing or stuff like that. So if you're looking for a radio that will do that, you'll have to look beyond this radio. But if you're just using it for a basic needs, for a basic 4-channel radio, which are regular ailerons, elevator, throttle, and rudder, then this is a great radio for starting out at an affordable price. Okay, we're going to get started with hooking the radio up to the airplane. But real quick before we get into that, I just want to show you and remind you that this is a 6-channel receiver. And the channels are as follows. If you turn it basically sideways like this and look at your transmitter, it uh, basically follows the same as on the receiver. So channel 1 is your aileron. Channel 2 will be your elevator. Channel 3 will be your throttle. And channel 4 will be your rudder. Um, the other two channels, since this is a 6-channel re uh, receiver, they will not be used with this radio. And uh, on the very far end, you can see there's a battery plug. That will be used if you're using a separate BEC to plug in. And that's also where the bind plug will plug in on this receiver. Okay, guys, as you can see here, I have the receiver plugged into a plane. This is a F-15 test plane that I'm going to be using the radio on. As you can see, I also have the bind plug plugged into the battery port and the uh, ESC and the ailerons and elevator plugged into the radio. So the radio is now ready to be bound. Okay, so basically you just need to plug in the battery and power the receiver first with the bind plug in and then the lights on the main receiver and the satellite receiver to start blinking. Once they do that, just press and hold the bind button on your transmitter while turning the radio on and you do this for about three seconds. After about three or four seconds, it should be bound to the radio and the lights should stop blinking and then it will be bound to the radio. So let me uh, give this a try and uh, see if we can get it bound to the radio. Okay, so first step, let me zoom out a little here. I'm going to plug the battery into the plane with the make sure the transmitter radio power is off. Okay, as you can see, the light on the receiver is blinking. It's in bind mode. Okay, so now what I want to do, I pick the radio up, hold the bind button down while turning it on. You can do this for about three or four seconds. Okay, now the light went out on the receiver. 
So that means it should be bound to the radio. So we're going to unplug everything. Okay. Turn the radio off. Okay, now I'm going to remove the bind plug and the radio should be bound to the receiver. Okay, remove that. Now we can just turn the radio back on. Plug the battery back into the plane. Okay, and as you can see in here, gave all the confirmation beeps. The receiver light is not blinking. So, looks like it's bound and everything is uh, working right. Yep, as I can confirm, I'm moving my ailerons. And it looks like it's bound to the plane. So, let's take this uh, radio and plane out to the field and see how it actually works. Okay guys, we're out at the airfield now. I'm gonna test this four channel radio with this F-15 duck fan jet. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we're back in the flying field, and I'd just like to say I was happily surprised with the way this radio performed. I didn't experience any glitches, and the radio did seem to have some smooth controls, and um, it controlled the airplane very well. Now that we've gotten to test this Hobby King 2.4 GHz 4 channel radio, I'd just like to go over some final review thoughts with you. Overall, I have to give this Hobby King 4 channel 2.4 GHz radio a pretty good rating. Some of my reasons for this are basically the affordability of the radio. It being a 2.4 gigahertz radio, meaning you don't have to worry about crystals, and the ease of use of this radio. This is not a full featured radio, and it does lack the uh, delta mixing or V-tail mixing, but it does excel as being a good radio for trainers, or a lot of these are almost ready to fly airplanes. At the flying field, the radio did seem to offer very good performance. The transmitter and receiver communication seemed to be pretty rock solid. I never noticed any sort of glitching, and the operation was pretty smooth. The build quality of this radio seemed to be fairly well. It's not on par with, say, a Futaba or a JR high-end radio, but the fit and finish of it and the feel in your hands is pretty good. So overall, I'd give this Hobby King 4-channel 2.4 GHz radio a pretty good rating. I'd recommend it to anybody looking for a basic entry-level 2.4 GHz radio for basic trainers and almost ready-to-fly airplanes. Thanks, everyone, for joining me for this quick review of this Hobby King 4-channel 2.4 GHz radio. Please remember you can find this radio on HobbyKing.com as well as many other RC-related items.